So in this chapter, we will learn about networks. Uh, nowadays, most of the applications require an access to networks, uh, to advertise, to update data, to publish on social network, and so on. And so, to do that, Android provides uh, a lot of frameworks to do that. So there are classical HTTP clients, there is the connectivity manager, and there is the Volley framework, which, which has been developed by Google. So first of all, if you want to access the internet, you have to declare it inside of the Android manifest file.xml. And then you can choose your HTTP uh, client, which is HTTP URL connection or HTTP client, depending on the version of Android you are using. And now you must prefer the HTTP URL connection, which is the most used component, component and that can handle uh, compressed cache. So, when we want to access to the internet, we have to, to think about something. I may have access to the internet right now, but in one second I may not have access to the internet because I'm passing in a corridor or something like that. And so I have to, to test every time the connectivity of my, uh, of my, uh, my network. So to do that, I just have to grab the system service, which is connectivity service, and then I can ask whether the network is connected. And then I can do something. If the network is available, I can update data. Otherwise, I, I, I just have to do something. So now, suppose that I want to download a web page. Okay? I can build my own class, which is download web page and this is an asynchronous task, okay? So during the doing background task, I just have to download URLs, and this is it. So now we can have a look to download URL uh, uh, code. So here we can see that we build a new URL, we open the connection, we set up some parameter about the timeout and so on. And then I can grab the, the response and build something which is the result of my web page. So this is for basic uh, processing. And if we want to do more with a network, we may use the Volley framework, which is a Google project for Android. And this have automatic request scheduling, this have simultaneous uh, request answering, this have catches, request priority, and this is easily configurable. So this is adapted for application. Uh, we use uh, RPC massively and that use XML massively. So this is a ready to use component. And for instance, here is how we can do the management of uh, through the Volley framework. So here we can see that we define some URL and then we can just have a request. So this is just a new request string and we just say this request is a method get. Uh, we can also specify post, but here is get. And on the response, what I have to do, on the error, what I have to do. And this is it. All the, the other error are managed by the Volley framework. So what is the, the, the life cycle of uh, your request? So the request is added to a queue by order of priority. Then there is a dispatcher that will handle your, 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 your request. Then some operation will be performed. We will check in the catch if this request has already been performed and then the response is passed and delivered to the thread that asks for the, the demand. So to sum up, uh, if you have small data to download, you can use classical HTTP uh, clients. And if you have uh, a huge use of uh, the network, you may want to use the Volley framework, which is really efficient. Uh, you do have to think that if you download something, you don't, you don't have to do this on the UI thread. 
And every time you ask for the internet, think to check the connectivity. And think that at any time you can have a disconnection that occur, so you have to handle that.